Yes, Juliana. Namaskar, Maya. Namaskar. I've just lost a close family member. I'd like to know how I can help transform and transcend the grief and um, transform the concept of death for myself and my loved ones and the soul of the one who's left the body. With the soul of the one who's left, we cannot know exactly what goes on with the soul. We cannot really know about these things, nobody knows. Anyone who says that they know, are having subjective experiences, there's no objective knowledge about all that. We can only know about what is happening here in life itself, afterwards, before, these are conjectures, there may be truth in it, but we need to stay with what is here. And what is very important when a person has passed away, is to realize that, and to also accept that grief is there, and that grief is actually the being confronted with your own mortality, the truth of the fact that this thing is going to be over at one point. That is the first thing that shocks the system. Because when you get the news of a person's passing away, it comes as a conceptual news to you, you hear about it, and you start thinking about it. And the first thing that generally happens is that a fear grips the system. The whole system is gripped from the materiality of your body, all the way up from the emotional, in the conceptual, everything is in, in, in a state of, what people call a state of shock, is a state of fear. And it's a fear about your own mortality the fact that you also are going to go one day. So that's where you begin, for yourself first, because if you are not strong, if you are not steady, then the people who have to deal with the passing of that loved one cannot actually receive strength from you. So in order to be strong, the first thing when that happens is to say, this fear that is gripping my system is not required, it can leave now, thank you very much. It's okay. Go. I don't want to be afraid of these things. When my time comes to go, I will go. What is happening here is one experience, and what happens afterwards is another experience, which I will be curious about also. It's okay, just go now, this fear, leave. So when you tell that whole fear and that shock and everything, when you actually say, this system has to be clear of all that, out, you push it out in a way, you know. Then there's like a, take a deep breath and there's just a sort of a bit of a relief in the system. And again it'll start to take over. You know, again you say, no, this also has to go one day, I'm preparing for leaving, it's okay. Now leave first, you leave, you tell this fear to leave. Because that's what is gripping the system, it's not sadness and all of that stuff happens much later, but in the first moment it's this fear, you know. And once you have rid the system of it, you take a deep breath, again it tries to come, again you rid the system. That is the first step. If you want to talk about transformation, then the transformation is to actually strengthen the system, not to allow that fear to take over. And you strengthen it by actually watching it happen and refusing it to enter. And by taking deep breaths and by saying, okay, now there is this, this fact, and this fact is also my fact, I'm also going to go one day. And it's okay if I go. I've come to this planet, I will see what I need to see, and then I go on, I move on. And once you have got that little bit of strength, in your system, then you can be... Because the, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, the person that has gone 
has people around them that are close to them that you need to support, you know. It's not a first-line person for you, it's a second-line person. If it's a first-line person, it's even stronger, even more of that fear, and it's even more important to first cleanse the system so that it doesn't accept that fear. In other words, be aware when that wave starts to take over and say, no, I don't want this. Because that is not what grieving is, grieving is something else. Grieving is actually what happens when the fear has left, and then it is having to accept that this thing we call living also has a limited amount of time, you know? And to, and to gradually just accept this. It's a matter of accepting that living is limited. No, it's not about the loss, it's about first accepting that. And then you feel quiet with it, you feel relaxed with it, you feel accepting of it, and then you go into the fact that on a material, physical level, the reason why this experience of sadness is also there, especially when two people are very close physically also, is because the cells of the body miss that other person after a while. They're used to communion with each other, of material exchange, of vibrations, of communication between the, the actual cells of the body and the cells of the other body. And even at an atomic level, you know, there is exchange. So from there, then in the emotional, there's a lot more exchange. In the conceptual, it's even more. So all of these things have to be dealt with one by one by one. But the first day, the first thing is to, to, to not allow this fear to grip the system, not to allow it to take charge, to be centered, to move into the center, to move into your center, to the Truth, to the Master of your being, and to be in surrender there, and to be accepting of the fact that death will come. It's not actual death, because there is something that goes on, that is known to humankind since the beginning of time. And that thing is that which we will see when that happens. So, that fear has to go. You know? And it's already freeing, isn't it? To even think that your system is not gripped by that. You know? Aren't you feeling that already now? Sort of a relief in the system? I'm not discounting the fact of the pain involved, but first the fear has to be dealt with. You dissolve it with the Truth. You dissolve it. You keep bringing the Truth into each of these things, as each experience, so that when you are with those people who who have that as a primary loss, you can, you can strengthen them just by your presence and your quiet, because you are not gripped by fear, you are not gripped by that pain. You have brought Truth into it, you know? We have to accept this fact that we are going to go, you know? We're all in, of us in this satsang right now, we're all going to not be here at one point. And one of the most powerful things for spiritual seekers is actually that they are preparing for that moment, as compared to those who don't take up that effort, you know. So that is why you will be a source of strength. Because you already know this, you know, for you it's not that complicated to find your way to the Truth, and bring that love energy to dissolve that fear and then to dissolve the pain so that you can you can so that the hugs you give to the people are hugs that are solid materially solid love which has no fear mingled in it and my condolences. It's not an easy time for your family, I know, but 
you have to be strong now and let that truth emerge let it actually dissolve that suffering let it dissolve that fear first it's okay someone has passed away yes but we all have to pass away so we don't have to be afraid it's all right you know let's quiet down let's go into the truth let the love flow and i can feel already that it's so, sort of relieve you i can feel that that thing is dissolving in you already just uh, from a distance i can feel it actually it'll come back again again you do the same thing it'll come back again again you do the same thing you know it's not something that just goes away and then it's just gone but that fear cannot be allowed because you have to be the source of strength and you are the source of strength when you allow the source of love to take over your system and not allow that fear to come in anymore